In this example, we want to assign the missing parameter for the passive elements represented by the gray boxes. We need to assign that according to the passive assign convention. So, for example, for element one, the voltage polarity is given. It is assumed that the voltage at this terminal on the right of the element is higher than the voltage at the other terminal. We have to assign our current sign convention such that that current is entering the positive voltage terminal. In element two, the voltage polarity is also assumed. I need to make the current or the reference direction for current positive into the positive terminal. In element three, we're given a current direction that we are to interpret as positive. Current is going to be entering the terminal on the right of this element, so that has to be where our assumed higher voltage is, and for element three, that will be the voltage polarity. Finally, for element four, current is assumed to be entering the upper terminal. I need to make that terminal the positive voltage terminal, so for V4, current will be entering this positive terminal. Remember that these directions do not correspond necessarily to the actual polarities and current directions. If we get a negative number for one or all of these, just means that the direction is actually the opposite of the given direction or the polarity is opposite of the given polarity.